Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make cinnamon candy cane cookies. This is a really fun treat for the holidays, and since it's totally easy to make, you can bring the kids in the kitchen to make this one too. We're going to start with one cup of softened butter here in the stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can also use a hand mixer for this. And then we're going to add in one cup of powdered sugar. It's also known as confectioner's sugar. We're going to use the beater attachment to cream this together until it's light and fluffy. Once this mixture is light and fluffy, we're going to go ahead and add in one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and cream this together. Then we'll add in two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Mix this together. Once that's mixed together, we're going to divide the dough in half. Leave one half of the dough in the mixer and the other half just set aside in a bowl. Now to the half that's still in the mixer, add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then about a quarter teaspoon of red gel food coloring and mix this together. You'll end up with one white and one red dough ball, each being about the size of a grapefruit. Put them onto a clean countertop and then pinch off about one and a half tablespoons from each and roll them into little snakes or ropes. I guarantee you this will be the kids' favorite part of the whole thing. Place them side by side and then gently twist them together. And twist it so it forms a little hook like a candy cane. And we're going to place this onto a parchment or silpat lined baking sheet. Repeat the process with all of the remaining dough. Now I am not much of a crafter. In fact, I call myself the anti-craft. So if I can do this, that means pretty much anyone can. And pretty soon you will end up with an entire pan of cute little candy canes. These really are just so cute. Bake them in a 375 degree oven for seven to 10 minutes. These really don't puff up much at all. They really hold their shape. So make sure you get that perfect candy cane shape. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.